So then our sisters made a mistake. But what mistake did they make about you? They've made lots of mistakes. Oh yes, but there's this one mistake that they made about you. They didn't see this coming and they underestimated you. If you wanna know what I'm talking about, watch this video. Hello my friends, I hope that you're all doing really well. So, so the mistake, the narcissist made this huge mistake about you. Yes, they did my friends, they so did. Okay, and this is what I wanna talk about in the video, all right? They, they underestimated you. And this is something that actually I really hope that by watching this video, it's going to help you to understand what it is, okay, that they, this mistake that they have made about you, okay, because this is, this is on you, like this is every single person that has had a narcissist in their life, all right, they made this mistake, and yes, I can boldly say this, I can boldly say this, that they didn't expect this, okay, because if they did see this, they wouldn't have done those things that they did to you, all right? They wouldn't have done it because they would have known. They would have known that this would have been the result. But no, my friends, they didn't see this coming, okay? And I want to talk about this in the video. But my friends, just quickly, I want to come on here and mention that I do go live every single Tuesday on this channel, all right? And I love doing these lives because I get to speak and interact with you guys. So if you have a question or there's something on your mind, come on over, join the community. It's an absolute vibe. I'd love to see you there. What have you got to lose? Just come on over, absolutely free. I would love to see you there. Okay, so the mistake, the mistake that the narcissist has made about you. Oh my friends, like seriously, they did not see this coming. So this mistake that I am talking about is that they underestimated your ability, all right? They thought, all right, they thought that they just carry on being them. They carry on gaslighting, manipulating, controlling you, and they're just gonna do what it is that they always do. And they thought that you were never going to see through it. They thought that you were just going to accept it and just carry on. You see, this is their humongous ego, all right, that let them down. This is their entitled behavior, all right? They thought that you are stupid. Yes, my friend, sorry to say it like this, but they thought that you were not going to see through it. They thought that you were just going to accept it and keep quiet they realize that actually, hold on a minute, my games are not washing with this person anymore. And you see, the thing is, every person that has a narcissist in their life, they reach a threshold, okay? They reach a limit that they can't do this anymore. At some point, the dots start to click, the dots start to join, all right? And you start to see through this behavior, you can, they got away with the lie once, twice, maybe five times. But every time they did, your gut instinct was telling you that something wasn't right, that, that something was wrong. And that is what I'm talking about. You have that gut instinct, your intuition, that never let you down. And the narcissist has this too. Yeah, sure, they do. But they don't listen to it. You listened to yours. I know sometimes perhaps maybe you didn't and you didn't act upon it. But every time that narcissist lied to you, you knew it was a lie. You may have even gone to find the evidence that this was a lie. Like, what is it that they're actually lying about? So yes, my friends, they underestimated you. They thought that they could bend your free will forever and ever. That they were going to keep you small. That they were going to keep you thinking that this person is so important to you and that you can't leave, that you've got to sit there and serve the narcissist. Yeah, they thought this. They did, my friends. And that's why they had the audacity to carry on this behavior. They had the confidence to carry on this behavior because they knew or they thought that you would never leave, that you were always going to be there for them. But you see, the thing is, you saw through it. It may be that you got um, inklings, maybe you got visions, maybe it came up in your dreams. 
Maybe you know you you listened at some point to your gut instinct because things led you to a certain path, and you came across all of this information about narcissism. And you see, then you you learned about it. You knew what you you saw it. You knew what was going on. And that is the thing, my friends, that is what they underestimate you. Okay, they think that they can get away with their behavior. They think that they can do what it is that they're doing and that this person is just not going to do anything about it. But they are wrong. But they are wrong. You see, narcissists and empathetic individuals like yourselves are in a way similar. Hear me out. Don't switch off. Hold on a minute. All right. So we are hypersensitive and hypervigilant to other people's emotions, uh, facial expressions and body language. You see, the narcissist has an agenda behind it. Yeah, they are, they are a dark empath. The narcissist can read people, all right? They don't feel, but they can read that person. This is why they've always been able to be one step ahead. They use this information against that person. Okay, because they, this is why they don't like to be vulnerable emotionally so that the other, so that you can't read them. And you see, this is what they think their superpower is, is that when they are not showing you how they are feeling, they're not letting on, they're not giving you that information. They think that you are dumb and stupid and that you're not going to be able to read them and you're never going to be able to discover this information. And that's what they think that you do. Like, they, this is how they underestimate you. They think that by hiding and by not showing, they are not being vulnerable, so you can't read them, you can't get the better, you can't get the better of them. But the thing is, you do, you can read them, you can see it. When someone's withholding, you know, information, emotion, intimacy, then there's gotta be something wrong. Okay, they think that if you're, if they're a blank slate, you're not going to be able to read them. But you have your intuition, all right, which is, in time, you do listen to it. And you see, that's where the narcissist, oh my God, that's where the narcissist underestimates you. So you eventually do do something about it because they never thought that you would. They didn't think that you would click and that you would actually leave or that you would do anything, you would do something about what they have done. And maybe you have, maybe you've left and they've started hoovering you. They're trying to get you back. They're trying to make some sort of impact but you see, none of this is really working anymore. The reason why the narcissist doesn't want you to go and they try to get you back is because they don't actually want to lose supply. They don't actually want that person to go. Re the reason why is because they want to know that they can still get supply of you. They don't have to put so much effort into it. They can still get your attention. They can still make some sort of... Um, impact in your life so that you won't go. And the thing is, you see, what is wrong here? What is the, 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 the wrong, the issue with this is, okay, is what they wanna do is they wanna keep you like a prisoner. They wanna keep you stuck. They wanna keep you stuck thinking this certain thing because every time that they've put you down, every time that they've made you feel awful, they've blamed you. They've made you feel insignificant, like the issue is with you and that you have to fix it in some way. And that is the problem, my friends. They thought that by them putting you down all the time, that actually, you know, they're going to be able to keep you in this prison and prevent you from leaving. But again, they've underestimated you. They didn't think that you would come to this point and have this realization. And that is really the truth, my friends, why the narcissist behaves the way that they do. This is why they feel like they have, once you are there, they feel like they've got you, they've trapped you there forever. But you see, you have listened to this, you have listened to your intuition, you have learned, and this is where you need to keep going. You need to stop and keep going forward because you need to start listening to your intuition more. It is never gonna let you down, it's gonna save your life. And this is what you have to remember, that your intuition, your gut feeling is there for a reason, to help you. And you need to start listening to it more. If you are someone that is going through this, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. Please see the description box below. Um, if you want more information, 
um, on any of the subjects that we have discussed in this video, watch this video because I talk more in detail as to why the narcissist does this. Okay, I would say watch this video because honestly it will help you. I've also got a mentorship and a journal club. Um, if you want to join either of them, please see the description box below. This will be really good, guys, for your... If you're getting counselling or therapy, this will be a good tool alongside that. And lastly, I do have the discord server which is a community of like-minded individuals if you want to join a really supportive really lovely community please see the description box for the link guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video goodbye